Hey guys, so last year was actually a pretty big year for my photography business. So with that being said, I actually want to take time to pick out five to six of my favorite pictures I actually took last year. And then just kind of give you some breakdowns to what was my thought process behind it, on uh, the gear that I used, and right here, got my laptop so I can actually see the pictures in which I'll be showing you. So let's get this started. So with the first picture, it is actually this, by coincidence, it's actually this laptop I got right here. Uh, so this was actually my first picture I took. Uh, well, this the the first picture on the list as my favorites, basically. So with this picture, basically, this is the Apple uh, M1 Pro, basically. And with this picture, it was kind of unique, right? So in order to get, I don't know if you guys ever done like one of these like product shots, but a common practice is to take multiple pictures at different exposures because like something like a laptop you got to expose different parts differently, right? So like the keyboard, that was his own picture. Um, that little notch you see right there, I might just circle it so you can actually see what I'm talking about. The thumb part where you lift up the actual screen, that was his own picture. The little light at the trim of the screen at the top, that was his own picture. You know, you, I think you guys get the point. So this is actually like a combination of like six pictures in one, basically. So that was really fun to do that. You know, that's my first time kind of like blending pictures together in that way so it was really exciting to kind of see the final product and just you know it was real beautiful honestly so this is like my actual favorite picture if you actually go on my website i'm gonna leave it down below that's actually the picture you're gonna see when you actually um go to my site so definitely check that out so uh what else so in terms of the picture settings um the f-stop was at 2.8 again i focused like specifically at each thing so two point wasn't that bad saying i was really focused on just certain like parts of the pictures at one time um shutter speed was one over two uh one over 20 which is pretty low but you know what saying it was on a tripod it didn't really you know matter too much and i, I had my shutter speed low so my iso can be low because the iso is actually um 240 i mean 250 iso and then in terms of the focal length my focal length was 60 millimeters so that's that. That's the Apple picture. That's the Apple laptop. Down in the comments below, give me a rating. What you think of the picture? Um, in terms of the gear we use, we use the Canon R5. Uh, I got the Canon RF 24-70. Beautiful lens. It's the 2.8, not the 2.0. Um, but really dope lens. That is like probably my favorite lens. Yeah, it's, 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 it's up there in my favorite lens. I really love, I really love those lens. They create some really crispy pictures. Um, Canon definitely worked their magic with this RF line. And then in terms of my light source, I used the Godox VL150, which is actually the light I'm using right now. I got a few of those. So I think for this picture, um, I use a uh, rectangle softbox, actually. That's why you get those nice, crispy light strips on like the metal and all that stuff. So really dope to do that. Um, so on to the next picture, picture number two. Uh, it's actually the Jordan 1's um, Shattered Backboards. I'll put the actual name of it right here so you know. I know that's not the Shattered Backboards, but it's like something in that category. Um, so in this picture, it's really dope because actually the, the surface that the shoes are on, I just got that from a local hardware store. Those just like bathroom tiles you can just pick out. Um, the shoes came from StockX. And then in terms of the picture settings, I shot the first, this picture you see right there, you see the first shoe. I wanted the first shoe to be in focus and I kind of want the background shoe to kind of be a little bit blurry. So I shot this at 6.3. Um, and again, like you don't want to like, when you're doing product shots, you kind of want the product to be in focus. So doing that like 2.8 or anything lower than that, you know, it might not get the whole shoe in focus. And the, you know, the whole concept of product photography is to get the product in the shot. So. That's why we shot that at 6.3. Uh, shutter speed, 1 over 60. Again, I think I was doing this handheld, actually. So the R5 mixed in with the, the lens I used, which you'll find out later. It got the, and you know, stabilization, so it did pretty good with that. Um, shutter speed, yeah, I said 1 over 60. ISO was 160. So really low ISO. My focal length, I shot this at 78. It was a zoom lens. That's why it's an odd number like that. Um... In terms of gear, I use the Canon R5. That's my that's my that's my go-to camera. Uh, the, now the lens I use on this one is actually the um, RF 70 to 200 f/4. I don't have the 2.8. The 
little bit pricey and I don't really use 2.8 on the zoom lens like that so I just kept it at f4 uh, I use my Philips hue lights that's how you created those nice like orange shadows flowing in basically um, and then in terms of the light again use the Godox VO 150 and then on to the second Jordan shoe. It's kind of like a part two thing. Uh, with this one, um, it's a little bit different because I wanted the entire thing to be in focus. So I shot this to f14, which is pretty high up there. Shutter speed, I cranked it down to 1 over 40. Uh, and ISO was at 400. So, And then a the focal length was 70. Again, the gear I use, again, say it with me, R5, 7200 f4, Philips Hue, and I used the Godox light. Um, this one of my favorite pictures actually in terms of like shoes. It's really crispy and I like how the background's like pure black. It's like really crushed out. Um, now these next set of pictures are engagement photos I took. And this right here, this is just a garden in a Chicago land area basically. And you know, side note, it was actually pretty cold that day. So shout out to them for actually like bringing jackets and then like being able to take it off to take these pictures real quick. But Picture settings. I shot this at f4. Again, you kind of want people to be in focus. It would have looked cool at 2.8, but you know, you will see why later. I didn't do 2.8. Shutter speed 1 over 100. ISO 100. I want the cleanest picture possible, so I kept it pretty low. Uh, and I shot this at 124 millimeters in terms of the focal length. Uh, gear. This is literally just the R5, and I got the 70 to 200 f4. That is why I kept it at f4 because that's the lowest I had, to be honest with you. Um, next set of pictures for that category is pretty much F4, kept the shutter speed the same, so it's 1 over 100. Uh, ISO is at 100, and this time just kind of zoomed out a little bit and just kept it at 124 um, in terms of focal length. Uh, gear, again, same thing, so that's the R5, and this is also the 70 to 200 F4. Um, so yeah, I would say those were my favorite pictures towards the end of the year basically i know i said i was gonna do the full year but last year in the beginning i didn't really take too many pictures um and then with all the new gear i was kind of just learning it when i first got it and towards the end of the year that's when i really started producing pictures that i really like but if you guys want to see more pictures that i do i have taken throughout the year of 2021 then go to my website i will leave a link down below if you're watching this on tiktok or instagram it'll probably be in my bio but if you're watching this on youtube it's right down below um so yeah like i said before let me let me know what you guys think of it uh if you can rank these pictures from well, how many pictures is it? is it uh i think it's five pictures if you can rank these five pictures drop it and do it down um in the comments anyway guys thanks for watching peace